So this video is for mom and dad. Um, this is a video that's going to give you guys some tips to help your kids go up and down stairs and up and down step stools independently. Um, often we still see some kids who are going up and down stairs where they're doing two feet on each step and we want them to start walking up and down the stairs so that they're alternating feet. So just one foot per step. Um, and also when they're going up and down step stools, um, Again, trying to encourage them to be able to do it by themselves without holding on to your hand or without holding on to anything for support. So building some confidence, building some balance and building some strength. Okay, so what I'm starting with is I've cut out some footprints and I've got two different colors. So I've got a pink one and a black one. And then what I've done on my feet, I don't know if you can see, but I've got two different colored socks. So I've got a pink sock and a black sock. So the pink sock's gonna match the pink footprint, black sock's gonna match the black footprint. Okay, so first I'll show you just stepping up and down onto a stool. Oftentimes, um, again, kids are reaching out for help or they're reaching out to hold on to something and we wanna try and encourage them to be able to be more independent with that. Um, you may also find, and it's pretty common with kids, that they always step up with the same foot and down with the same foot because generally they'll have one foot where they're more confident or more strong um, and we wanna encourage them to even that out. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So again, I've got my footprints. Um, whichever foot we want to encourage, so if they do have a stronger foot, um, that's the footprint that's going to go up on the stool, and then the other foot goes down on the floor. Okay, so pink foot, pink footprint matches my pink sock. You're stepping up, and then the black footprint matches black sock. You can do um, if you know your kid likes to paint their toenails, you can paint their toenails a color, and then the opposite foot another color. That's just another fun way to do it. Um, and then if you find the stool is too high, you can do the same thing just with books. Um, stacking books is, is an easy way, and then you can adjust how high or how low they are. So same thing, stepping up with your right foot, so that's going to match pink sock, pink footprint, down with the left, okay? Black foot footprint with a black sock. Okay, the next spot we're gonna address is stairs. So again, we're wanting kids to start walking up and down the stairs, alternating feet. So one foot on each step rather than um, placing two feet on each step. So again, color coded my footprints, gonna match my feet to the footprints. So again, very simple, black sock, black footprint, pink, black, pink, black, pink. Um, coming down, same thing. You can change the footprints around if you want. But again, it just gives them a visual um, of where to place their feet. So it's just that reminder of putting their foot on each step and only one foot going on each step. The other thing we want to work on is having the kids go up and down the stairs without holding on. So um, eventually we want to decrease that support if they're holding on to um, the rail with two hands, decrease that support to have them just hold on with one hand and then eventually not holding on at all. Um, the easiest way I find for that to happen is just to give them something to carry. So if we're wanting them to just hold on the rail with one hand, put a toy or a stuffy or something like that for them to carry in their other hand so that only one hand is free to hold that handrail. And eventually um, either give them two hands, so something in both hands or something big so that they have to use both hands to carry it. So that again, they have no hands free to hold that rail anymore. Um, Oftentimes kids have that ability, they just don't have that confidence or just out of habit. Um, they're always reaching for that external support. So again, by giving them something to hold, it just takes away that, um, that impulse for them to hold. So again, that's gonna help to just improve their, their balance and some confidence building. Um, that's it for, for this tip. If you have any questions, just feel free to email me.